Hey y'all, I have another uh, Zappa tune today. And um, the Montana is like, it's just a brilliant piece of music to me. It's it just the, the way it goes from one section to another. The arrangement is awesome. And uh, it's, it's just such a unique piece of music. And I always get the feeling that people who don't really, they're not really into Frank's music, uh, they'll just hear it as this silly, you know, thing, uh, especially the, now I'm plucking the old dental floss part, but I mean, even that is genius. Just, just the, uh, the melody of that section is, uh, it's just incredible. And what I thought I would do is kind of break it down. Like at some point, uh, That whole part I'll do as a whole separate video uh, because, uh, well, just because. Um, but we'll we'll do the the uh, the rest of the tune here, the the chords, etc. Um, so the lick I, I don't I'm not going to bother calling out the notes. It's pretty simple. <laughs> drum fill and then it starts on a uh, an A over B so that's uh, uh, 7 X 7 6 5 and then just goes to a regular B major bar chord I'm sure everybody knows and uh, in the verse there it's funny when I hear that. I have to admit, I always hear. Uh... It sounds to me. I'm pretty sure it's the chords also to uh, maybe a different key, but to uh, 10 CC. I'm not in love. I think they use the. It's actually it's a nice sound. The you start out with the A and move to a B, but the A has the B already in it. It's kind of cool. Anyway, I digress. to a, uh, a section with a bunch of like sus2 chords and so this is an A sus2 root second fifth uh, this is where he goes like so that obviously just went down a whole step I'm, uh, I'm on the uh, fourth string seventh fret third string fourth fret second string, fifth fret, down a whole set. What I did there is I went down to a D root. This is a D sus too. So. same shape. This is, I'm sure you can just see that, down a whole step. And by the way, I should point out, this is not what whoever Mike Keneally would play maybe uh, uh, on that tune. Uh, a lot of times the guitar might just be playing a single line melody or, or chord partials or whatever. Uh, but it's just, I don't have a 12 piece band so sometimes I just try to play what makes sense for a solo guitar um, so now then you have that part uh, but it doesn't come in until the second uh, verse and hopefully you just slow that down uh, and then it goes to uh, a G major. G to A, F to G. Just a nice little triad. And then we have the Raising My Lonely bit. I'll just do that slow. to the verse. 
inverse vamp there. Sorry. Then you have the sus2 chords uh, again. Uh, but this, the, the next time it comes out of that and goes to the... It doesn't go uh, G to A, F to G, it ends on a B flat, so it goes... Uh, and then you have the melody... And then the jam is just a big, it's just a big old uh, F sharp minor. Actually, it's like uh, more trouble every day too. Uh, and the solo, and out of the solo comes the the melody part there, or the, the amazing the sung melody there, plucking the old denoplos, etc. And so I'll do that like a part B uh, at some point, maybe. I'll have uh, like a tab attachment or something like that. But uh, anyway, if you had any interest in learning that song, I hope you like it.